Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Edwin Lofton. I am the Senior Vice President of Integrated and Acute Care and Chief Nursing Officer at Parrish Medical Center in Titusville, Florida on the Space Coast. I have the, had the honor and the privilege of being affiliated with Patient Safety Movement Foundation for several years now. Today, we're talking about apps number eight, airway safety, application of the, of the app. Situation, uh, focusing on airway safety is how do we prevent the unexpected or the unplanned extubation? That is one of the scariest moments for healthcare providers and patients themselves uh, when an event of this nature happens. And it's also to prevent the complications of errors related to airway management um, because they are completely preventable. Background, <clears throat> um, Parish Healthcare, Parish Medical Center is, is part of that, began our journey of high reliability many years ago. We were early adapters of uh, bundle management of evidence-based practices. We read uh, the, the checklist manifesto, we read the early data uh, and outcomes that proved that errors were preventable, that airway management was safe, could be safe, as long as we pay attention. We established a formal process for airway management in 2007. Um, our board of directors, our leadership, our senior leadership have been committed to a culture of healing since 1999. In fact, our facility uh, is a replacement facility, it was built in 2002, and it was one of the first entire facilities to be built on the principles of healing. Every sight, sound, texture, color you see is based on the science of healing. And we use that as our springboard to create the culture of healing and the culture of safety. Airway management, we started there because of the ABCs. Um, it is a driven, focused, interdisciplinary team. It is lit, led by our inter, interdisciplinary practice council. From the interdisciplinary practice council, we had multiple recommendations. The action plan, which, was, which included the team, included the intensivist pulmonologist, respiratory, nursing, pharmacy, dietitian, everybody that had an influence on the person who receiving the care related to airway management. Our expected outcomes, this, our goal was easy to state, zero. Zero ventilator acquired events and zero unplanned extubations. As we adopted Gwande's vent bundle, we did continuous evaluations. We've been doing this again for 13 years now. And we have focused on uh, the, the very, very intentional look at caring for those patients. We check ourselves every day. We check each other every day. We know if the process is people dependent, we will make errors. Therefore, we focus on reminding ourselves that it is process driven and that we may adjust things over time, but we only adjust when the evidence is strong and supportive of those outcomes. So what did we do? We looked at the assessment of the current state in 2017. We actually had zero unexpected um, extubations. In 2018, our rate was 0 0.0026. And again, our goal was zero and to sustain zero. So after re-implementation in 2017-18, where do we stand today? Well, going back to 2007, we have had zero ventilator associated um, events, pneumonias, since 2007, we were very proud of that. In unplanned extubations, we've had a total of five since January of 2007, which represents a rate of 1.0611 per 1,000 vent days. And there have been no complications related from those unplanned extubations. The results are based on a focus on performance improvement, a focus on giving the care partner at the bedside the authority and the autonomy to make the right decisions for the person that we have the honor to provide care, to partner in care with. The nurse can make the call, make the recommendation to the physician. The physician respects the nurse and the respiratory therapist and what they're doing, even to the point of the nutritional uh, supplements that are provided in support of a healthy airway management program. Thank you. Have a good day.